Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. I thought I'd uh, give you a little, um, uh, just an insight of a, uh, a home, uh, well, speaker system that I've been sort of working on over the last probably six months or so. Um, so he wanted a well, media device and, um, and speakers all out for his house. And uh, there's sort of no way, the home automation is a very expensive thing. Uh, so there's sort of no way to do it apart from spending, you know, the four or five grand on amplifiers, you know, big channel amplifiers. So the easiest thing that I've done it in the past before, and the easiest thing to do was just to just to do a um a car stereo. So yeah, this guy wanted all the mate, I uh, wanted all the features of a pretty much uh, of a car stereo. Um, and as you can see, we've got the touch panel up top. Uh, so pretty much it was sort of a budget build and also a uh, loud budget build as such. Um, so it's pretty much just a, a couple hundred dollar car stereo, doubled in, but it's a, um, a small can. Uh, uh, you can't fit because uh, the cavity in these things are too thick for a, um, a big one, which you don't have the CD player and you can make the uh, can a lot smaller. Uh, so that there has uh, made us fit that and also we've got the touch panel. The reason why we've got the touch panel here is what you do is you touch whatever one you want and that there is turning on every amplifier. So the this sends a signal to the amplifier. We uh, turn on each uh, individual amplifier. Um, I'll take you up uh, in the roof and I've got a video that will setting it all up as well. Uh, it was, yeah. Pretty much the whole thing runs off of 12 volts so the actual whole thing runs off a pc power supply which is a 40 42 amp power supply and that stays on up in the roof uh, at all times and uh then the stereo runs off it and also the touch the touch panel and all the amplifiers up in the roof as well um cooling's no issues if it's um we haven't really had too much of a hot day yet uh but uh, if that comes down to it we can um, add some um, fans on there as well but uh, this system is pretty much a, yeah, it's loud. So outside is pretty much, you can't even hear yourself talk. Uh, and it's clear as well. That's what, uh, what I like to do with my builds. Just make sure they're um, nice and clear. Um, so yeah, I'll take you up in the roof now. We'll go have a look. And then I'll explain the speaker situation. All right, peeps. So this is the setup that we've got. Um, I'm in the roof right now. Um, I'll uh, show you the system that we've got going. All right, so as you can see, that's the power supply, just a Corsair 850. And what we use is is uh, just the 12 volt out. So that's the, that there is your um, a motherboard connection. Um, so you just get the 12 volt out and the earths. And then, as you can see guys, that's all our setup. All right, so these things are just little tiny eBay amplifiers. And what these do, uh, running uh, each room all right so one of these ones we're not using at the moment um, because yeah we just, we just thought we would um, uh, just put more in there uh, than we actually needed to uh, but um, yeah we've always got more uh, additives that we like more speakers that we can um, yeah use anyway all right so the from that uh, from the deck comes into all these amplifiers all right, and to power these amplifiers, uh, goes over to here. All right, and that's the switch. That's the touch screen. All right, that you're seeing up there. All right, and then you got the six outputs that we are touching. All right, and to make everything loud, because outside wasn't as loud, we've gone with a real big four channel. Uh, this one was actually probably the most expensive thing that we probably brought in the whole thing. Um, was a um, yeah big uh, pioneer, and we're only using two channels of it. We're not um, yeah using much of it. So um, yeah, and that's how we've all connected it. Um, we've just teed it all off. Um, you can see, we've all written down what what room they are, and you can sort of see it's a little bit messy on the wiring, but um, yeah, we'll clean it up after we um, yeah finally do the final assembly. That's all. Um, yeah, they say they're all 500 watts, but they're all about maybe. 20 30 watts each pretty much and uh yeah they run the run the bedrooms um uh the uh he's even got a couple in the bathrooms so when he has a shower or a bath uh you can yeah 
uh, have music on, whatever you want, and it's also Bluetooth, so Bluetooth runs obviously throughout the whole house. Um, and he's also got um, a radio as well, and that there is uh, the booster because the antenna. So yeah, everything has come up really well, and uh, there the whole house runs off of 12 volts of the sound system, and um, yeah, everything all stays pretty cool, and yeah, everything's good. All right, peeps. So all the stuff from up there. Uh, all comes down, obviously, and um, yeah, they're the speakers that are running, eight inches um, in, in the roof, and they're throughout the house, obviously, in the bathroom, lounge room, um, living, dining, and uh, yeah, everywhere. So, I'll take you outside now, uh, we'll have a look at the speakers on the outside, and um, yeah, we'll see how we get, how go from there. Alright, so as you can see on the outside speakers, we've got, um, everything's all, all just from J-Car, and um, yeah, all uh, Digitex. And they're absolutely loud as hell. Uh, we started off with just two on the outside, um, and then uh, we've gone with four all up. And this thing's just a party animal out here. Alright peeps, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you a couple other things that I do as well. Um, stereos, obviously you guys probably know um, I've always been into stereos and car stereos and obviously house stereos. I've always had big house systems as well in my own houses. But um, yeah, I thought I would, uh, would, would make something pretty decent. I've always wanted to do something like this. Uh, whereas he can turn everything off individually, uh, turn everything, every speaker off, turn them all up, uh, all by, via Bluetooth as well. Uh, yeah, so the only thing he has had to do was uh, he's gone out and got a, a Bluetooth extender uh, and receiver uh, because he's got a pretty decent long house and he just found every time he come outside uh, he was near the barbecue and it would just cut out a little bit. So uh, there wasn't much as well. Um, so yeah, we're thinking that we've got around about the six speakers inside. Um, obviously we're only doing like one in the living area, one in the kitchen, one in each t uh, bathroom. Uh, yeah, and just like that, and obviously main bedroom, uh, and also because of them, we've had to do four on the outside. So it's around about the, the the ten to ten to eleven speakers all up um, on the outside here uh, on the whole thing. Sorry, and yeah, and it's a party. So it's sort of the easiest, probably not not the easiest, but it was sort of the cheapest way to do it. And this whole setup costs around about fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, when you put that in perspective, that's pretty much only going to get you a decent uh, home amplifier and which and ain't going to do you any zones. So he pretty much he's got all the zone that he wants. Um, the only reason why I can't turn it on right now guys is obviously for copyright reasons. Um, and uh, yeah, but it'd be awesome if I could show you guys exactly how loud it is, that's all. Uh, obviously, I was on the outside here, uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty much uncomfortable to sit there and enjoy yourself. That's actually how loud it is. Uh, on the inside, it's a little bit less. They're the little tiny small amplifiers that will um, up in the roof there. Uh, as I said, they're only, they do say like 500 watts, but they're pretty much a 20, 30 watt RMS amplifier, that's all. Um, and they pretty much just drive the speaker just enough. Uh, but yeah, not overly, that's all. So there's a lot more things that we can do, a lot more amplifiers we can put up there. Uh, we can make it a lot more louder, but inside it's pretty comfortable. And um, yeah, they just turn it up on the stereo and then wherever they go around in the house, they just turn it up on their phone. So yeah, all volume controlled on your phone and also whatever, Spotify or whoever you want to do, YouTube or whatever, on your phone as well. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you about the, like just some custom stuff that I've been doing as well. And um, yeah, obviously it's not going to be the last bit as well. So uh, yeah, on that guys, I'll finish you up. Uh, obviously, thanks very much for uh, liking and subscribing and I'll see you on the next episode. See you peeps.